Hey, good people, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. And I hope all is well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And welcome to another issue of Guitar Gab. And this is where I take the questions from you. That's right, the viewers, and uh, you write in and let me know anything you want to talk about or what you want to learn about, about guitar, music, stuff like that, bands. And then I pick uh, uh, your questions and then we talk about them here on uh, these videos of Guitar Gab and talk a lot about gear and equipment. And that's kind of what uh, we're going to talk about today. I've been getting a lot of emails about um, more of the equipment that I use for my DAW or digital audio workstation. Now, if you look back in some of my other videos, I did overviews on what DAWs are and all the different components. Um, and uh, you want to watch it. There's a two-part video series on that. And uh, now I've been getting lots of more questions to go in deeper and talk about the various differences and the various components that I like to use in, when I'm creating music or filming music or uh, with, uh, with my system. So if you have a question or a comment or something else you want to learn about or talk more about or see a specific piece of gear, be sure to leave um, that information, leave your question in the YouTube uh, comment box below and we'll be sure and uh, check those out. Today I'm going to talk about headphones and especially I want to talk about these headphones from the good people at Meze. Um, these are the classic 73's satin finish and they are super cool for many reasons and I want to talk about headphones are pretty important in what I do and uh, you're going to be using them a lot if you're recording especially at night especially at home using your DAW. Now, what's the big deal about headphones? Well, it's a big deal for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one is that if you record at night, or if you record in an area in an apartment, or you're recording using your DAW, and you know you don't want to disturb anybody, more often than not, you're going to be plugging in a set of headphones. Now, the interface, and mine is the UR22 by Steinberg. Um, this one has a headphone jack and a volume level for headphones and that's very important and I talked about that in some of my earlier videos on DAWs and interfaces and how important that is to have that on your interface and have a level control and uh, it's important because if you're recording at night obviously you're gonna punch plug right in you don't have to disturb anybody another reason why that's so important is that let's say if you're a singer-songwriter you want to record vocals or you want to record acoustic guitar and you're miking up to that. You have your mic in front of your station because most of us, if we're recording at home, it's not like we have somebody running the board and we're in an isolation room somewhere. You're going to be sitting right in front of your computer, in front of your monitors. The problem is, as soon as you play the track to play along with it, what's coming out of your monitors is going to bleed into that vocal mic or bleed into the microphone that's picking up the acoustic guitar. And that's no good because you want isolation for each track. So you pop on the headphones right and this way it sends the music through here and you're playing and recording your part isolated and you can adjust it having that adjustment is very important for that volume for the headphones so headphones are pretty critical and good headphones are pretty critical because again like I always say you want to buy the best you can afford and you want to be inspired and empowered but from your gear and your music and you want great sounding stuff life is too short to play over crappy chord changes like I always say life is too short to play over you know crappy sounding chords or crappy amps right you want to be empowered and motivated the other thing I do personally is uh, you know here at Next Level Guitar and Epic Guitar Instruction I film we film thousands of videos thousands of videos and um, when I'm filming myself obviously I'm not wearing the headphones but when I'm behind the camera filming or other instructors I have the headphones plugged into the camera and lots of times when we're doing video shoots I'll have these headphones on three hours straight two three four hours straight so you know I'm really giving the headphones a workout and uh, these headphones have performed outstanding um, so let me tell you a little bit about what I look for in headphones and I want to talk to you about these specific headphones because they're super cool the three most important things in my opinion with headphones are uh, sound obviously they got to sound really good uh, comfort because I wear them for such long periods of time they have to be light and comfortable and three durability they have to hold up because uh, I give my equipment a workout you know this is what I do full-time I'm a full-time musician so um, my gear gets a lot of use live it gets a lot of use in my studio so it has to be durable 
And uh, so those three things, so let's talk about each one of them. And let's talk about these. These are the classic 73s by Meze. And uh, they're, they're really cool because the good people at Meze, what they do is they kind of blend the modern with traditional and they make a real elegant pair of headphones that's well made and they sound great. And the great thing about them is no two are alike because they have this wood uh, ear caps, this ebony wood, and I'll give you some close-ups of this, and you could just see how beautiful that wood is. And no two pair are alike, right? Um, so they're very unique, and if you want something unique and hip, these are certainly worth taking a look at. These are the ebony, this handcrafted, um, so super cool, right? And the wood grain gives you that unique finish. And it seems to me, if you've, if, you, uh, if you've seen my videos before, you know how I like companies that put time and effort into the design of their products. That's so important as far as functionality and the design of how people will be wearing them or what they'll be using for or how they'll be using them. And they've done a good job with this at, at Meze for sure. Um, they, they, first of all, the, the, the headphones come in this kind of cool box, right? There you can see these are the classic 73s in the satin finish. And the box is a nice place to store them because it has the foam. Okay. And it's very sturdy box, so they put some time into the packaging. There's the back. So what these come with is you get the headphones, and then it comes with two uh, cables, eighth inch, one for each side. And they come, they give you two sets, which is nice. They give you the plastic ones, and they also give you wood grain ones which is kind of cool. So you just basically have a left and a right and they just kind of plug in, snap, there they go. And bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. And then you plug your other end into your DAW or into your camera or whatever else, or into your iPod, wherever else you're using the headphones for. Um, these headphones are of course adjustable for different size heads. My head's kind of large, but it fits me really well. And the thing is, you would think with the wood that these would be heavy and uncomfortable, but it's just the opposite, especially ebony, because ebony is a pretty, pretty heavy duty wood. But these are very light and they're super comfy. I mean, I wear these sometimes four hours straight and I'm not, that's no joke. Our video shoots are long and I have these on for four hours and they're totally comfortable. I forget they're on there after a while. That's how comfortable they are. Um, the pads are really nice. And the more importantly, the sound quality is awesome. They're very clear and crisp. Warm would be the best way for me to describe them. And I think that probably has to do with the wood because it's a great idea with the wood. Think about it in your guitar cabinets, the speakers, the drivers are always enclosed, right? In a wood cabinet because wood has that warmth that resonates well. So it's a good idea putting the, the, the speakers, the drivers around wood, right? And in fact, I've experimented with that, like PA speakers. I've listened to PA speakers that are in those plastic cabinets, the ABS cabinets, right up against the wood cabinets. And to my ear, the wood always sounds better. It always sounds a little warmer, a little bit uh, more resonant, um, and that's because of the wood. So very good idea. Um, the headphones I used before these were a set of Bose. And I like these a little bit better. I don't remember what number bows it was, what model it was. These just sound a little bit better than the bows. They're a little crisper, a little bit tighter, a little warmer. Um, and the, the headphones I had before the bows I was using, the actual padding, the black, this black button started to flake away because I use them so much. And it started to, to, to break off and it was just a mess. It would get everywhere, all over my hair and my head and whatnot. So those had to go. And the Boses were good. Those were good headphones. But actually, and I still have them, but I use these more because I like the sound of them a little better. And sound quality is so important. So um, I'm, I'm not an audiophile, so to speak. So like I could rattle, like you could rattle off all the specs to me of these headphones and you could see all the specs. I'll put the link to the Meze website and you could check them out. Um, and it'll be in the YouTube description box too. And you could look at the specs, but to me, it's like, how do they sound? Let me put them on. How do they sound? These sound really, really, really good. I, I, I listen to their sound, not only through my equipment, through my interface, through my camera, through my iPod, through my computer. Sounds really good. I love the modern design of these and I love the matching of the, the elegance of the aesthetics with the, the modern look and the functionality. So they get two big thumbs up from me. And the wood grain, it's nice again because there's no two alike.
Now these are geared more for high-end audio because they are expensive. It's about $239, um, which, is, which is kind of high for a set of headphones. But if you're looking for something that's really unique, if you're looking for something that's one of a kind, and you're looking for a high quality sounding pair that are really comfortable, the padding is comfortable, the padding around the headband is really comfortable, um, then these are worth checking out. And again, they're from a company called Meze. They have different um, models of these. They're also coming out with other products in their line. Again, very much based on the aesthetic, the, 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 the good looks, the modern kind of look. Uh, blended with the traditional. So headphones are an important part of your digital audio workstation and for your music listening pleasure, right? And um, these from Meze, they check all my boxes. Super comfortable. Uh, they have lots of padding. Can, they're lightweight. They're very stylish. You got to give them that. Um, they sound great. Really good sound. Very crisp. I like crisp, warm. That's That's kind of my thing. So these hit that and they seem like they're very durable. Like I said, I've had these a couple of weeks and I've been wearing them. Like I said, I got a lot of hours on these already and they still look like they're brand new. Um, so they hit all my boxes design wise. They've done a great job with them. So check them out. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And hey, if you if you like this video, uh, uh, click the like button or give it a thumbs up. You know, that really helps me. That really helps us here at Next Level Guitar to keep bringing the content to our rock on good people you know, YouTube channel, it really helps us. And, and please subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button. And then you'll know when we have new videos coming out, we come out with guitar lessons for all level players, all genres of music. I keep keep bringing the content. And I wanna thank you for, for watching and your support over all the years and years and years we've been doing this. I'm so glad that we can help so many of you along in your guitar and musical journeys. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment in that YouTube comment box. Let me know what you want to talk about here on Guitar Gab. Let me know what you want to learn more about, uh, what you're studying, um, what gear. Um, just put that comment in. We'll check that out. All right. I'm David Taub, co-creator of Next Level Guitar. You are the good people. Thanks again. Take care. Keep on rocking. Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution, right? And I'll see you in the next lesson. Rock on.